Welcome to Wall TV News. It's Monday. I'm Alana Wickering. Tonight on Wall TV News, we will meet Waldorf's decision makers, discover more about Waldorf's upcoming graduation ceremonies, and learn more about a production held by Waldorf's theater program. As a family-owned business, the Waldorf Board of Trustees take personal pride in serving the university. I was on the scene. Waldorf University's Board of Trustees have an annual meeting once per year. You guys consistently make and give students an incredible experience. The Mays family has owned Waldorf since 2009 and Robert Mays serves on the Board of Trustees. So it's, it's a very important role of oversight. One of the most important things the board does is, is hire and appoint the president. I really, really enjoyed this role. Chris Meyer is an alumni class of 1975 and has served as a trustee for the past four years. We need those people that are still willing to go the extra mile. So as Mother Teresa said, let no one come to you without living better than they will leave them. Randy Jewell, originally from Forest City, Iowa, and a graduate of Waldorf, serves as a trustee. My source of joy is coming home and being able to give back to the community that gave me so much. Trustee Richard Gommer graduated from a small college much like Waldorf. It helped define who I am. Gommer has had a successful career in business finance. And so when I had an opportunity to, to consider being on the Waldorf board, uh, I jumped at it. While the trustees were here for their annual meeting, they were also able to offer advice to students. Just be willing to dare. Dare to do something you don't know if you know how, and then just learn how. Dare to, dare to be who you are. But it's good to have a plan, but don't be afraid of not sticking to it. And they won't really appreciate some of what they're going through for another 10 or 15 or 20 years when they start to look back and say, wow, I, I'm really glad I had that kind of experience. And to be honest, at 50 years old, we still never feel like an adult all the way. We're, we're, we're still those young people that are figuring the world out and learning and meeting people and, and you know, just try to do the best we can and make a difference in the people's lives we know. You know, let's be a good influence for those around us. But, so take that first step. Waldorf University's trustees strive to better the student's experience. We do it one, one student at a time and we change the trajectory of their life and their career. And, and there's no more noble work on the planet than doing that. The Board of Trustees plans to continue to shape the policies and financial well-being of the college, but to also impact students' lives. Alana Wickering, Wall TV News. Many of Waldorf's Board of Trustees will return to campus on May 7th to participate in Waldorf's graduation ceremonies. Waldorf University's seniors are preparing for their graduation ceremonies. I took the liberty to find out more. Graduation season is right around the corner. Senior Matt Baltzgraf has been at Waldorf for eight semesters, being heavily involved in many clubs and organizations on campus. I mean, you get to hear them say, yeah, Matt, let's go. You're the first in the family to graduate. Baltzgraf has 18 potential guests for graduation. And we're only allowed four tickets for this graduation, for this indoor graduation at the Bowman. Baltzgraf, with the help of senior Brandel McGinn, composed a document attempting to persuade administration into switching graduation back to the football field. And so I just thought, what if we could change it? The two seniors are the first in their family to graduate. So it's a really big deal for like me and my family. They have to think about the students and what they want. It's our graduation, not theirs, so... I felt defeated that it seemed a simple change in our mind and I don't think it's going to happen. The graduation committee decided to break the ceremony into two separate commencements after the proposal from the seniors. Professor Carlos Ruiz serves on this committee. What it comes down to is capacity. The splitting of the ceremonies provides an opportunity for students to have an unlimited amount of tickets. And I think that's a benefit at the end of the day is we can fit more people inside um, across two ceremonies as opposed to one big giant one. I am really not in favor of it. I am a psych major and a lot of my friends are going to be in the science graduation so that's going to be really hard for me not being able to graduate with the people who I came here with. Graduation celebrates the achievement of students. Students wanted more tickets. Waldorf cooperated. This is Alana Wickering, Wall TV News. Commencement will be held in the Bowman Fine Arts Center on May 7th at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. 
Waldorf University put on a theater performance in the Bowman Fine Arts Center. I found out more. Waldorf University's theater department has a variety of students. They put on four productions per year. Senior Caitlin Rodriguez has been involved in theater since high school and is the stage manager for Waldorf's upcoming production. I think the theater department does wonderful here. SpongeBob the Musical is set in a disastrous bikini bottom and SpongeBob and his crew attempt to save the town. There's a lot of different storylines and like little storylines in it that you'll be like, oh, this is happening. Senior Kobe Sadler is acting in his first production since coming to Waldorf. I wanted to try something new before graduating and I've been interested in uh, musicals in the past so I thought it'd be a really fun time to get involved here. Theater at Waldorf is offered as a major and a club as an opportunity for students to get experience in the realm of acting. I think the coolest thing about being in uh, theater here is just meeting new people. I'm, I'm friends now with a lot of people I, I'd never talked to on campus. Theater is so important because it gives people an out to reality sometimes. The ability to really uh, express your creativity. SpongeBob is described as a family show that is fun and relatable. And who doesn't love SpongeBob? Um. <laughs> SpongeBob the Musical provides an opportunity for students to expand their acting skills and make memories. Alana Wickling, Wall TV News. Waldorf University's theater program will be back in action during the fall of 2022. That's all for tonight's broadcast. Be sure to tune in for the latest news in our area. We look forward to seeing you on Mondays. For Wall TV News, I'm Alana Wickering. Thank you for tuning in. Good night.